Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our multiplayer Let's Play. Of course, joining me as always, we have Brad the Invisible. Uh, oh yeah, there you are. Not be, hopefully, but I'm probably not going to be able to take all of it away. Eh, take a giant chunk It's of it. way too much to take, and they reformed. Even and just take it small bits at a time is better than nothing. Ben the now yellow, and Caden, our good old pink friend. The salmon red pink thing. So. Brad, the fact that you, Brad, the fact that you on Tobruk is making me cry because I'm gonna take the Shamrids and I want to fight the um, Shia Caliph, and the fact oh, that that's just there I preventing me from doing a conquest is just <sighs> that one province. Because if I if I capture the Shamrids, that one province would prevent me from doing a conquest of the Samur the Samurids. Whatever, I'll deal with it later. I still need to capture Castile, but they're not really a threat at the moment. Can I just banish someone to your land? <laughs> How humorous. Ooh, I can get Santiago now, but I think I'll wait. Do the Catholics have any... Ooh! Apparently Kent is a Catholic holy site. Yeah, because there's Canterbury in there. Ever heard of the Archbishop of Canterbury? Nope. Wait, pa France is helping you. Is helping Italy? Yes. Oh, that's not good. It's technically a holy war. Seems like we're gonna need some Muslims to intervene. Go for I wouldn't it. worry too much once he has Actually, Carinthia. I Actually, I don't want a holy war because Burgundy, it, Lotharinga, and Italy. Like I said, you have to take all of Carinthia. That includes the baronies. Actually, I could probably gra just grab Barcelona. Actually, the problem is I'm not sure if I could beat Francia. Wait, yes, I could. I could beat them oh, soundly. I just decimated one of their armies. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. To hell with the other country, Catholic countries. Wait, couldn't Caden potentially join against me in the Holy War? Potentially. Would he, though? Probably Would not. you, Caden? I don't think Caden really cares, though, because... If I remember correctly, we're going to divvy up Francia between the two of us anyway, so... Yeah, okay, you can have Germany. I don't really care about Germany. Yeah, touching the HRE is my job. Yeah, if... If you are going to take the entirety of Germany, I'm taking the north... I'm taking West Francia. As well as Aquitaine, so. So, did you declare war? Me? Yes, you. Yeah. Oh, so that makes sense. What the? Oh my God! Why Castile. the French are moving away? Yeah, Castile just joined in the whole against me in the Holy War. How cute! They only have like a thousand men. <laughs> one of my levies could. One of my duchies could beat them. Anyway. So the French are moving away. How big was their army when they left? I saw two stacks of 7,000. Okay, so I can beat this that. This is what I saw. Yeah, I'm actually going to need to form into two armies because one my because I have too many men for one. Like I'll start suffering attrition penalties in my own land if I have one army. Sucks. Yeah, it does suck, but I can deal with it. Just have to, I'll just juggle two armies back and forth. Which won't be too difficult, because they'll both be like 20,000 men. Let's keep them near each other. Hmm? Also, That's I saw hard. French boats. I don't know why, but there were French boats. I think some of their soldiers landed by boats. I can't remember. Yeah, there's like an there's like an 11 ship French na there's two 11 ship French navies on my coast. Hmm. I mean, I don't really care that they're there because that's only like a thousand nine hundred men. I think that's more of just they're looking around my co my coastal provinces. Mm. Sven's host. Sven's host. Sven's host. Yeah, I just got a host attacking me. Where is that? Leading troops in Telemaca. Yurkting host in Mauritania. Where are you? 
Fine Where is title. He? Well, you said he's coming from Scotland, wasn't he? Yggdrasil's host. He's a Sunni. Oh, hey! Someone from my court left to attack a, for a host that's attacking you, Ben. Yeah, but where is he? I don't know where his army is. It's, um... Go down to Mali. It's the pro It's the, the one province that's like jutting out into the savannah. Look, he's only got a thousand men. Oh, well, you're wait, no, that's, wait, no, that's not the. Wait, no, that's not the host. That's a different host. That's not the host that's attacking me. I see. This. I don't know who he's attacking, but he's not attacking me. He's probably attacking somebody in your realm. Yeah, I'm being attacked by a Muslim host, which is somewhere. I don't know where he is, though. He's probably in us. Wait for him. You don't have to pause the game. You probably can't see him. Yeah, he's, he's probably in probably, Suffolk right now. Yeah, he's probably coming for you. Like, just wait. Yeah. Wait for him to show up. He's coming. Yeah. There's not much else can you can do. I mean, he, will he get boats automatically? or Yeah, will he, he gets just... a couple hundred. Okay, so he'll be able to trans... It was only a couple hundred. Depends on... How big his army actually is, because it's too small. Oh, what are you doing, AI? God damn it. Yeah, I decided it'd be a fantastic idea to move my two 25,000 man armies on top of each other to reach the French. No, that's not the AI doing it, that's you. Yeah, no, that's the path. No, that was the path thing, this AI deciding that that's the smartest path for both of them. Which was incidentally causing them both to suffer huge attrition damage. Ooh, I'll be inherit. I'll be able to put somebody on of my dynasty on the uh, throne of Kumania if I tried. Sweet. Nice. The French just showed up with sixteen thousand men and they just quick siege all my provinces. They'll do that. And I'm, it looks like I'm gonna be attacking them over a river. Don't. Yeah, I know. I know that's a Here's trap. Here's an idea: load your troops onto ooh, onto a boat. I don't, I don't have enough yeah. boats. Eh. I don't have. Nearly enough boats for my entire. Are, I noted that half they're my... on the coast. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, here I'll, I'll just go. I'll just go around and then attack them from behind. All right, Sam's twenty-nine thousand. If I'm if I attack parallel to a river, do I receive river penalties? Parallel to a river. Yeah. So like, well, click on the province. The click on I the don't province. Think I... Will you listen to me? Click on the province, and it tells you where you'll get an attack penalty from if you attack into this province. Yeah, I'll get an attack penalty. Let's okay, go around. Yeah. Host? Oh, no, there's the host. Yeah, They've got 28,000 got 29, man host, so... Yeah, they know. have 28,000 men, and they're quick sieging. It'll be very difficult from... Actually, sh wait, shit, they're only attacking from Mauritania. Oh, that's a problem. Divert my second army. I really hope I can get to Mauritania. I mean, because I don't want to lose the title of Mauritania. Alright, at any given moment now, I have the possibility to end the war in my favor. Cool. Thank oh, god, this host is freaking retarded. I love that. I think the French army just broke. Yeah, they did. They just broke. Good. Crap, I'm already at 40% war score. This host might end up winning the war before my army gets there. I know Won't how you the feel. host take everything? I know how you feel, Kale. No, it depends what the host's trying to take. He's attacking mm -hmm. Mauritania is at 52% war score already, and my army's not four. even halfway there. You'll at least get a claim on it. He's... He's... He's attacking for a claim on Mauritania, of the Kingdom of Mauritania. Yeah, and I mean, you will get a claim on that, so don't worry. Oh, so I can just kill him later. Yeah, if you have to. Yeah, that's fine. I'd rather not, he not even get the claim, because currently I don't think anyone has a claim on the title. No, never mind. A number, a lot of people do. I'm Just having a walk. lot of trouble organizing my shit right now, though. Ugh, come on, army! I might be able to get there before he successfully takes everything. And due to all his quick sieges, he's running out of men. So yeah, that's the beauty. Because the AI seems to enjoy quick sieging. 
The AI has no idea what my army's up to, so... In all hilarity, yeah, he's splitting up his host, so I'll be able to beat the it. The AI doesn't seem to get that... You shouldn't quick siege until you know their army is dead. Until you know their army is alive. Yeah, I just you. use. Can you explain this once you already Ben? I mean, the AI is not gonna. It's, the AI is gonna do it if they know they can win. They're not gonna calculate like armies that are there. Yeah, the yeah. AI is only a tactical AI. It has no strategic element, which is a problem. It has little to no understanding of actual strategy. Strategery? Yes. Okay. Anyway, the French army is done. Cool. How tragic for France. Anyway, let's beat up this host of my second army. Which has no generals. Oh god. Actually, I'm on one of the flanks, so... I should be fine. I've gotten... I've got... Nope, they don't target you. Oh hey! Part of yeah, France, gonna... part of Italy's breaking again. At least you don't have France attacking you now. I did before, and I weakened now... their armies for you. Well, you're well. Welcome. Thank you for that, but now you don't. So now, yeah. Well, thank you for just for completely obliterating France and crap. I just lost against the host. Lost a battle. Hmm. Like I said, hosts are serious business. Yeah. Well, it's mostly because I don't have any generals on that yeah, army. Yeah, you've got to assign generals before you go into battle. That's what I... I do things like... Yeah, no, it's because all, all my that. generals are a fight... All my generals are fighting France right now. All my good generals. Any general is a good general compared to none. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, so... Might need to way, hire he's still only at 99%. You could totally win. He's attacking across the river. Hopefully my 6,000 mercenaries can get there before he manages to win. One of your suffered gigantic penalties for going across a river crossing. Is it across Gibraltar? Yeah. That's he's attacking not even a river. Gibraltar. That's that's a straight crossing. Yeah, and he's suffered... That's even worse. And my art... I just immediately won. I think I killed him. If yeah, he died kill, in battle. Yeah. It's like someone trying to force an army... Onto Manhattan and expecting not to get shot in the head. Yeah, he just his I, anyone I think who cares. He killed him in battle. It's like trying to attack across the English Channel. No uh, one has successfully. Is there anything we can? It's a trying to. Oh, never mind. For no, anyone who lives I'm fairly certain D Day was well. Yeah, I, yeah, that's why I stopped and I, that's why I interrupted myself. I well, I want to say D Day was successful, but even coming they from the most strategic way speaking, it was. But coming from they a tactical, to... coming from they... a tactical perspective, it was not a worthwhile invasion. Mostly well, on America's yeah. part. Everyone else did okay as far well, as yeah, amphibious they're... invasions go. But yeah, America probably... just threw troops at them like they were Russians. Well, actually, what happened was a lot. They were there were supposed to be a lot of naval bombings, but those filmed. Oh God, I have another host attacking me. Yeah, it was a it was a clusterfuck shithole, and they only won by sheer manpower. I've got another host attack me over Marrakech. Well, at least it's only a duchy this time. For our Scandinavian listeners who don't who might not know where how what Manhattan looks like, it would be like trying to attack Oland up there from mainland. Oh, this these guys only have a nine thousand men. That's fine. Ooh. If I have 13,000 men and the defenders have 1,300, would quick sieging be good? I'm gonna quick siege this. Fuck it. I don't have enough time. Just keep that, uh. Keep that war score off of 100. Well, no. No, I'm referring to my war against France where it needs to be 100. Which should be fine, because. It's not ticking against me. It's just Castile is causing me headaches in that they're capturing one province right next to them, so they're actually driving the war score down slightly. I don't have any armies to kill them, but the host should the host should just be destroyed fairly easily. They've only got like nine thousand men. Yeah, you can generally dispatch the hosts fairly easily. 
Yeah, it's just when you're not when you don't have enough of an army to defeat a host is when you when you have problems. Hosts, like if you just came hosts out of a... end up within uh, seventy to ninety percent of your total realm levy. Yeah, but if you end up crippled at if you end up coming out of a war crippled and then a host decides to attack you, then you have a problem. Yeah, that's pretty much why hosts can be dangerous. Badly timed host can put you in trouble. Like I'm actually oh. dealing with another host that's going to be coming at me soon. I have no idea when. France just amassed another huge army. They're... Yeah, they do that. That was mostly consistent. That mostly consists of Bavaria. Apparently there are hills. Yeah, but my generals should make up for the hills. Come on. Yeah, the king of the king of France is flanked, is broke, and now their army just lost. Because the king of France is a terrible general. Yep, they always are. Like he, has a, he has a skill of like five. Let's Sorry, see. eight. I have a river here. If anyone attacks me from Ferrara or Treviso, they will suffer a penalty. Yeah. Good. Get more generals. That's where my main army is. I'm trying to put them in strategic places, so if Italy Apparently does get an army together that can fight mine, they'll have whoa, to... Whoa, 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 whoa. The host just jumped up from 9,000 men to 2,500. GG. Like, just abruptly increased in size mid-combat. That's probably they landed more men. Okay, that makes no sense because their navy hasn't moved. Fucking great. So now I can't kill them because I can't even hire enough mercenaries to kill them. Ah, damn it. Hosts are dangerous. It's okay. I think my is in the army that's just lost, so I should be able to amass some of an army back. Haven't heard from you all game. Me? Because no, I'm just skated. waiting around, mostly. Yep. He's done nothing, actually. Like, his realm hasn't been ex expanding, either. We could lo attack Lotharingia. Or he might not actually have a Casas Bleed against us, do you? Alright, one host down. And I know I have another coming, which is just great, you know? Hosts are a pain in the ass. Yeah, the problem is yeah. I can get it in like three or f I've got like I think I'm on my third host now in like the last two episodes or something. I don't know, but I've just lost against the second host because there's literally no way I could defeat them. Yeah, some hosts can be pretty bad. You have to be careful. The problem is, is my army is crippled. My I've lost a huge amount of manpower between fighting France and fighting hosts. If it was one and then the other, I would have been. If it wasn't both of them at the same time, I would have been fine. Yep. Dems to breaks, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm at 34% in the war against um France. I should be able to defeat them soundly pretty soon. It's just... <sighs> Marrakech. At least Marrakech is only a duchy. And even so then, once he usurps... And even then, if he takes the duchy of Marrakech, I can just usurp it from him because he'll be a filthy pagan. It's okay, and I have a question about the prepared invasion, CB. Okay, Rome, the papacy joined in. No, if you can't I, take Rome. Damn it. Yet. I can't take Rome yet. Mm. Anyway, so even if the host manages to take it, I'll be able to... I should still be able to... Oh, look, Francis surrendering. Yeah, anything you occupy. Like, I assume the war scores tick to 100, yeah. And oh, yeah. It's now you just basically go until you can't go any further. Damn it, I have to disband my... Oh, my retinues got entirely killed. Fuck. <sighs> Whatever. At least on the bright side, I captured, um... I own, uh, Barcelona now, because France surrendered. Good. Yeah, that's the bright side. Downside is I'm gonna lose a duchy to a host, but I can just usurp it from them due to medium crown authority. No, they should go independent. They'll go independent? Yeah. Which is fine, because you can just yeah, totally like them. Yeah, they'll lose all their event troops, won't they? No. Well, yeah, actually, some of them. I think, like, they lose 80%. Anyway, yeah, so I be this episode's uh, at its end. So thank you, everyone, for watching. As always, this has been... Ooh. Laggy McLaggerson here. That random lag spike. 
This has been Calvin, joining me with Brad, Caden, and Ben, signing off.